Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now as I told before that there are 20 amino acids which exist. Now it is not possible to talk about the structure and the behavior of all the 20 amino acids. So I'll just talk about some 3-4 uh, amino acids out of those 20. However, if you want to have a look at all the 20 amino acids, you can refer your chemistry videos for that. So let us talk about the first alpha amino acid that is alanine. So alanine, for alanine we have the three letter short form as ALA and the one letter form is A. It is a non-polar neutral that is it has same number of amine groups as the hydroxyl, as the carboxylic group. So it is a non-essential amino acid that is it is synthesized within the body of a living organism. So it is generally found in muscles of uh, living beings. This amino acid is also linked to uh, diseases like diabetes and blood pressure, high BP problem. So this is how the structure of alanine looks like. You have one amine group and you have one carboxylate group which makes it neutral because it has same number of uh, basic and acidic groups. So this is how the structure looks like. This is the amine group, this is the carboxylic group and this is the alkyl group. So which is the alkyl group in this case? The alkyl group is CH3. Let us look at the next amino acid that is arginine. So for this the three letter short form is ARG and the one letter form is R. It is basic polar positive. So it is basic in nature that is it has more number of amine groups. So here if you see the amine groups are more and carboxylic group is less. So it is basic in nature. So this is how the structure looks like. You have the amine group here, you have the carboxylic group here and this is your alkyl group. Which is the alkyl group in this case? This is the structure of the alkyl group. So you can see the structure of alanine was quite simpler because the alkyl group was only a methyl group CH3. But here the alkyl group is quite complex. These are semi-essential now. There is not only essential and non-essential. Essential were those which can be, which has to be provided from outside. And non-essential which can be synthesized inside the body. There is something called semi-essential as well. Which can be synthesized inside your body, but it cannot be synthesized in all living organisms. For example, this uh, um, amino acid, Infants cannot synthesize it. So it can be produced, it can be synthesized inside the body of adult living beings, but infants will not be able to produce it. Produce it. So in case of infants, it needs to be provided from outside. So some of the food items which is rich in arginine are uh, fish, chocolates. So that is why these type of food is very important for infants because they get arginine from all these foods. Now, as that infant grows and become an adult, even if he doesn't take chocolates, it is fine because this uh, arginine will start to get synthesized within its body. So that is why it is called semi-essential. It is also involved with increased production of nitric oxide. It is very good for heart diseases. It helps in speedy recovery of wound. These are some of the um, functions of uh, the amino acid arginine. Let us look at the third one that is asparagin. So what is asparagin? For this the three letter uh, form is ASN and the one letter symbol is N. It is polar and neutral because again this also has same number of amine and carboxylic group. This is a non-essential amino acid. So this is also synthesized inside the body. So this is how it looks like. So this has the alkyl group here and this alkyl group is this one. So this is the alkyl group. So this is asparagine. So this is the first amino acid to be isolated and it was isolated from asparagus and that is why it was named as asparagine. As I said most of the, the names of the amino acids are quite trivial and most of them are named uh, are either after the source from which, which they were extracted or uh, from the food where they are present. 
Next one is glycine. So glycine, uh, the three letter symbol is GLY and one letter symbol is G. It is again non-polar neutral. So it is a non-essential amino acid which can be synthesized within the body. This is how the structure looks like with one amino group and one carboxyl group. This is the smallest amino acid. So if you see the alkyl group here, alkyl group is nothing but H. So that is the smallest possible alkyl group, H. So that is why it is the smallest amino acid. This is the smallest amino acid. It tastes sweet and the word glycos in Greek means sweet. That is why it was named glycine. It was discovered by a scientist named Henry. And how did he discover this? When galatine was boiled with sulfuric acid, glycine was formed. So that was the first time it was uh, found and described. So that was about glycine. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.